Hey YouTube family. Folks at Indestructible sent me a pair of shoes to check out and they wanted me to do a shoe review. So if you've seen these in your Instagram feeds or you've seen another YouTube video on another channel, um, stay tuned because this one's different. If you've seen my other shoe videos, you know I am serious about my running shoes and good running shoes need to be worth at least 500 miles. Um, and Indestructible claims you can run in them and work in them. So instead of me pulling these out, running around a parking lot or a basketball court, uh, and beating them with a hammer and a torch and a grinder, I wore them to work for two months. So new shoes always need to get dirty. So here's the deal. Checked out the Indestructible website and Eric, one of the founders, says that living in the Pacific Northwest, he learned that you need to have dry feet, and I couldn't agree more. Now, he also said that these are for running. I definitely do not recommend running any legitimate distance in these shoes. However, as far as a work shoe goes, these are actually fairly decent. Now, what they're attempting to do here is to marry a boot with a running shoe. Not a new idea, but definitely a difficult one. Boots are tough. They're made to kick bricks, stomp out small fires. Running shoes are meant to carry you over a trail for at least 500 miles and keep your feet dry. So these are the Camo X. They're in a dullish black now. When they came they were very shiny and ugly, but um, they wore in very well. So first thing we want to do is, in the Pacific Northwest, is kick some rocks and go check out the trail. Check out these rocks. Alright, day one with the indestructible shoe. We got our safety toe in the camo and we are going to hit the trails. We're going to take the dog out and um, nice to know I don't stub my toe on some of these rocks and we're going to give these um, treads try, see how they do. Um, it's a little wet out, it's just a dewy day, um, we're not raining so we're going to go hit the rocks and get these new shoes muddy, right? So these are claimed to be waterproof. And of course, we're going to find out because this is the Pacific Northwest. So first thing I did was hit some puddles, did a little mud stomping, and feet stayed relatively dry. Um, the downfall was this back heel. It allowed some water in. Um, but because we're in the Pacific Northwest, we like to go down to the beach a lot. And so we decided to see if they could handle kicking some seaweed like this. checking out these shoes they've done pretty well for the past two months now they claim to be waterproof and we've about this is a one-piece assembly with a little rubber um, support strapping they are a little loose on the side so they're a little tough on hills because you get a little ankle roll um, and the back is a little loose but that actually works very well for a finished carpentry shoe because you can turn these in stomp on them and basically make a crock which is kind of cool because when you're in and out of a house a lot, you need to be quick, um, quick interchange of your shoes so you're not getting the house dirty or vice versa. Um, so if you check this out though, for being a waterproof shoe, it's pretty good. But if you know, I run Trail Runners or Cascade GTX and from Brooks and they have a Gore-Tex lining and the inside is actually a separate interior liner that is waterproof so when the outside fails your feet still stay dry which is really great because it's added a lot more miles to these shoes um even just working in the yard in a heavy dew or light rain keeps your feet dry so th that's what a waterproof running shoe looks like now you also see that these treads 
these treads have this shoe has probably about 750 miles on it now and the the treads are showing but they're still holding up the treads on this shoe are already starting to show wear and this is a slipper like sole now the benefit of that is it does give you some grip and also these are non-marring they did not mark any of the surfaces that I worked in and that's a great thing because we don't want to do any damage to finished products so these have been my finished carpentry shoes um, they're very nice because they do kick some bricks and I can kick the lumber pile around a little bit um, and I did drop some stuff on my feet so I can attest to the boot being a safety toe I don't need to cut it open or destroy it with a grinder because two months in these shoes for me is probably worth uh, one day of most of those videos that you've already seen so this is m more of an everyday wear so like I said these have been on my feet I've tried to wear them in every situation possible and they've held up for just about everything um, that I think a sneaker boot should do now for boots boots I wear my redhead Irish setters and these are boot boots and these are low these are these are my finished carpentry boots when I'm on a tough job site that requires leather and I'm doing some welding and I don't want to oh, catch fire, my foot on fire or whatnot. Um, you see these are two apiece and this is where these type of boots split. Um, so that's a downfall but these are my slip-ons and um, I, when I replace these I think these and these will be my two work shoes um, and then I'll also have my, my go home shoes because you got to have three shoes here. One, one's got to go home dry with you so all in all I'm pretty impressed with them they have held up again I don't like the side roll I think they need a little support if they're gonna be a boot shoe I think this needs to be a little stiffer here and I'd like to feel that my my feet aren't gonna roll um, if you follow my blog and my other videos you know I've had over two dozen ankle sprains so um, with that being said um, I do recommend them. Um, I, they did send me a discount, 20% discount code. If you check that out in the description, I do get some of that uh, in the purchase fee. But you're supporting me and you're supporting them, so thanks very much. Um, give them a try. Check them out. Um, so thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you don't, don't. But feel free to comment, critique, um, or make a suggestion. And... Please do subscribe. I need your help on the subscribers. We're getting there, we're growing, but it's a slow go. And thanks Indestructible for sending these shoes to try out. And I'm fairly happy with them. They are they are comfortable and they're light enough to wear on a, the, the finish end of a job. So um, they've been a good pair to wear. I'm gonna reach out to them, send them a link to this video. Maybe they'll send me another pair and we can do a giveaway. Yay. All right, y'all, check out some other videos. We got some cool builds coming. Check out my footwear on the builds that I'm building. Check out the builds that I'm building. Gonna have some new tools on there and um, should be good. Run up to a new decade, 2020. So stay tuned and check out my other videos, all right? Thank y'all. Cheers.